Right, here we go. Welcome to another video. I've got a new tent. I've got a new tent. We're going to do... We're taking a look at the brand new Sea to Summit Alto. We're taking a look at the brand new Sea to Summit... We're taking a look at the brand new Sea to... So I've got a new tent, the Sea to Summit Alto TR2, two years in the making from Sea to Summit, it's their first foray into the world of tents. I was just looking for a new tent, the reason being is that the Hilleberg is, it's the Rolls Royce, it's lovely, but I feel like it's just, there's too many people who have it now, I feel like you don't if you're into wild camping there are certain scenes in wild camping that if you don't have a hilliberg you're not you know you don't know what you're on about or you're not you've not reached that pinnacle and uh, I think it's nonsense really so I'm just trying to book the trend and I wanted to just I didn't want to just be another sand colored hilliberg on the side of a mountain I wanted to look for something a little bit different and so I set out looking for a two-man tent and after a lot of research I found this the Sea to Summit Alto TR2. This is how it came in two parts. Pretty nifty. I've had it out. I've had it. Um, I've I've put it up and had a bit of a look round it and and tested it out a little bit. I've not done any overnighters in it. Looking forward to doing some overnighters in it. I'm just going to set it up here in the garden and show you some of the uh, some of the cool features because it has got some amazing features. Look how it comes. It comes in this fancy bag with these clips on, and you can undo the clips. So you undo the clips, and it comes into three pit, three parts there: the fly, the inner, and then the poles. So you can distribute the weight about yourself perfect for bike packing or if you're going camping with your friend or your partner or both you can one each so there's not a lot of weight to it at all I will put the specs on screen and I'll put all the information down below I just want to say that before I get get into it this isn't a sponsored video I've not been paid to to use this tent I bought it out my own money because I like the look of it and I want something a little bit different. So yeah, it comes in two parts and this turns into something a little bit snazzy. As do the stuff sacks for the uh, for the outer and the inner, which we'll have a look at. It's got all the instructions there on the bag so you don't get caught out. It comes with this fancy guide. It gives you all the information on how to set up the different formations and the little, the little tricks and tips that you can do with it, which are, it's got some cool little features which I'll show you. There's a few things that I found a bit niggly, it's a, it's a tough one to set up, but we'll have a look. I'm excited, I'm excited to have a new tent. We're not far off being able to use it either. We'll keep that for later. I'll show you what that does later on, it's pretty cool. My concern with a, a pitch inner first is that if, you, if, it's, if it's pissing it down with rain, you don't want to get the inner wet, like a lot of the uh, MSR. That's what steered me away from the MSR tents. But with this one, you can set it up, fly first, and then set everything up inside it. And similarly, when, you, when you're packing it down, you can pack everything away, keep the fly up, and then pop the fly away. <sighs> Smells new. Smells new. Peg bag there with a little pocket on the front of it, which has... Some extra guys in there. Repair kit with instructions. Cool. It was pretty bonkers uh, putting it up because I've not <laughs> I've not been flummoxed, but uh, I've not been flummoxed with a tent for many many years it reminds me of when you first start camping you're like Where, uh, where's that go what day plug that into what i had no idea mate so be warned it is a it's a tricky one to get your noggin round at first but like with everything practice makes perfect 
these are all attached so it's really easy just to clip them all in place two at one side one at the other yeah up shotgun someone's having a shoot and there you go it looks pretty bonkers right that doesn't even go that way that you'd think that goes that way to curve it over but it doesn't it goes this way which helps to create these vertical walls which gives you loads more room inside so you see this this goes that way up and then there's a, a green tab and that just slides nicely on there these have got little hooks on the edge for these loops to go over and then similarly to like the Helm 2 and the Hilleberg it has these clips so you can clip the inner to the poles just not as many of them as the Hilleberg Alak 2 which is good look at that mate already you can see so this is a, the stargazer mode so you can have it like this really steep walls on either side because of this this pole it's like inverted to create this perfectly straight flat uh, side bit which is excellent so these bits now these reinforced bits with the loops on one with a green loop on one side and one with grey so you know which way around it goes because this this attachment here is grey and the other one is green so you're not end up getting it backwards so these go on first I'll let you have a closer look so these reinforced reinforced bits go over over and onto there like that so this is all in with one peg And then the fly has this, which can either fasten on there like that, or if you don't want the inner, it can just go straight around the pole as well. And you can cinch it all up to get a nice pitch. Right, let's get in there. Let's get in. They are YKK zips, so they are good quality. You've got the one zip there, and then you've got another zip from the top. Velcro as well. Let's roll it up. So this is the one of the... Just one of the negative points for me is this tie-off point. It's not elasticated, which... He's a bugbearer man. And because of the nature of the material, it's quite slidey. So that, with a bit of wind and what, see how oh, that just falls down like that. So it's kind of, it ends up being pointless really when it's, uh, when it's a bit windy, so I've found. Toggles feel really nice like a boomerang shaped toggle. Now the inner is elasticated, which is good. Just keeps out of it a little bit better. And because this is the, the mesh isn't as slippy, so it doesn't tend to, to fall away. You can open both sides as well. And it is a dual entrance tent, so for you and your partner, you're not gonna wake each other up when you're going for a slash. Getting in pink socks. <laughs> Are you coming in? Come on. Ah, come on in so what it does have is that vertical wall so that you can you'll be able to sit with your with your mate <laughs> like that side by side and stare into each other's eyes while you have your pot noodle or whatever oh, it feels nice there's loads of tie off points in here you can get a gear loft separately for it uh, but what I'll do I think I'll just put some Dyneema cord on just something to chuck me get out man just <laughs> like Danielson just something to chuck my socks over and stuff, so the, I think the gear loft's about 20 quid. And you can get footprints, you can get a footprint, a smaller footprint just for the bathtub, or you can get a, a larger one which covers the vestibule area as well, which is what I've gone for. This turns into a light bar. What's a light bar, mate? 
Hey, there's no such thing as a daft question, mate. Don't you worry about it. Because I'll be honest, I didn't know what a light bar was. But, it has these little studs on there, which you can stud on. Come on, light bar, don't let me down in front of it, lads. Uh, uh, what? There you go. And so you put your headlamps and torches in there, and this light will diffuse the light so you, you get a nicer light all through your tent. We have the long pocket to either side. There's plenty of room to chuck your stuff in, but check this out. Again, you've got your studs on here. Tell me this isn't a great feature. So not only do you have the one at the side, but you've got this as an extra storage bag. It's got a little bit on the front there to put your whatevers in and your whatevers in there as well. I don't think it'd be, um, let me go on this side. Like you're gonna struggle to get two air beds in here. It'll be a very tight squeeze for two of you. But for one person, I mean, you could get two of you in there if you're going ultra light. But for one person it is perfect, it feels good, it feels roomy. You've got loads of options, you've got the fly only mode, you've got the, the inner only, you can do the hangout mode, which is uh, where you use your hiking poles or some sticks and you can create a, a nice little shelter from the rain where you can hang out with your friends. And as I say, you've got, you can roll the fly up so you can have it for fully dry, you can have it a partial fly mode, there's lots of different modes you can have. I'll be honest, when I first set it up, I didn't like it. Well, I did like it, but the, it frustrated me because I didn't know how to set it up. That was just more frustrating than anything else. I think it's going to get a lot of t getting used to setting it up and the different ways of setting it up. But, uh, yeah. Eee! Little pink socks on, mate. Oh, what? Not long now until I can take it up into mountains. <laughs> right, let's go inside for some final thoughts. Testing, testing. Division 2 Footballer Ed, ex boy band footballer, Bonds. My first impressions, as I say, I've put it up a couple of times. The first time was, uh, it was a bit of a noggin scratcher, because normally I'll get a tent and I won't even need to look at instructions, because they often are similar in ways to put up, so it's sort of easy. But this one was a bit of a noggin scratcher at first, especially with the multiple ways to set it up. I love the features, I love that you can use the bags as storage and the pole bag as a light diffuser. I love that you can do the shared carry or just place it around your pack to evenly distribute the weight if you need to, especially with bike packing that would be quite handy. The way that the ridge goes up on the outside and creates these vertical walls, it gives a really, it gives a feeling of space when you're in there. Like nothing I've had in a tent before, because normally you have that curved curved roof, but it's sort of straight up, so you can have a couple of you sat there quite happily. And the versatility of it as well. There are so many different things you can do. Having the, the fly sheet partially rolled up so that you can check out the stars and then get back out. If You can even go to sleep with it, and if you feel a bit of rain, you can get back out. And it's really easy just to chuck the fly back over and attach it back to the... Uh, the attachment points and it's not until I get out and do multi-day hikes with it and get used to setting it up and taking it down on multi-day hikes and then maybe I'll take it on a long distance hike and maybe it'll take over the Lanshan 2 as my as my lightweight backpacking tent because it feels like it's good quality when you're in there it's, it's it feels light but sturdy it doesn't feel as sturdy as the Hilleberg there's something about Hilleberg that it's it's robust but you pay for that in the weight of the thing because especially when we're coming up to finer weather the the hillybergs are really quite heavy so the alak 2 is like carrying danny devito on my back wherever i want to you know up to the top of a mountain and so i can only do one night so this tent is perfect for summer multi-day trips and um, when i just want that little bit of extra room as well i've got the tr2 it comes in a tr2 plus as well so like with the, the the Four Season Hilleberg tents, or like with any Four Season tent, it doesn't have mesh and it has more of a cotton vibe to it to keep the warmth in, and that 
you'll be able to push it into four seasons with that. But then you're gaining a little bit of weight, so it's, it's what you want it for, really. And they do an Altro TR1 and a TR1 Plus, which is the one-man version. That looks really good, and for you ultra-light backpackers, that saves a bit of weight as well. I went for the two because I like to have a little bit of room, and you never know if you might have someone coming with you at some point, so... Yeah. It just covered more options for me having the two-person tent. And then they do the Telos, which is the, uh, the Telos TR2 and the Telos TR3 even with this one. And that's a self-standing tent. Again, it weighs more, but it, it all depends on what you want it for, I guess. So you make your own mind up. And that's it. First impressions are, I love it. I love all the extra features. I love all the, the little, the bells and whistles, but are they just bells and whistles and how does it perform? in driving rain, how does it perform setting it up and taking it down on multi days when it's wet, who knows, stick around to find out because I'll be using it a lot in the coming months. Yeah, the price, it's not a cheap tent, it's not a budget tent, it was £430 for the TR2, it falls into the more expensive category like your M MSRs and your, your big Agnes's and you, not so much your Hillybergs, they're on another level aren't they but Yes, I'd say it was a, it was a, it's in the, the the upper end of the price spectrum, and that's it. We're going to be allowed out soon to be able to test all our new tents because I'm sure everybody's been buying tents and buying bits and pieces to uh, to use once we're allowed out the gates. And I look forward to it. We're over the hump now, aren't we? We're in our end of lockdown. It's it, you know, I feel for the people that it's taken a toll on. And, it, and, you know, and just because if you haven't felt it personally, it doesn't mean other people aren't struggling. So, as I've always said, just be understanding, mate. Just be a little bit more compassionate and more considerate in these current times. And look after yourselves, as always. It starts with yourself. Look after yourself, then you can maybe look after other people as well. I salute you all, my fellow human beings. Right, look after yourselves, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Oh, get me back camping, mate. Get me back camping. See you later. Love you. Bye.